Hi and welcome back. For people who saw my last video, you will know that I'm back in Shenzhen in China. And I arrived just in time for Chinese New Year. Now, I want to show you what a Chinese New Year is like here in China. And I'm going to spend it with my wife's family. Now, the first part of it is a few days before Chinese New Year, because there's a lot of food to prepare, we start preparing the food. And all over China, different areas, different provinces, different cities, people eat a different food at New Year. They kind of, each area has its own speciality of foods. And it would be very interesting if you can guess when you see the food we're preparing now, where my wife's family are from. So follow along with the journey. We're going to have some fun and we're going to show you what Chinese New Year is like here in China. Mm -hmm. oh, work a bit of a sweat up doing that. I tell you, I'm sure people in the West wouldn't do it by hand like this. They put it in a food processor, but the thinking of the Chinese is that it's much better by hand. And this is sometimes the difference between. Oh, yeah. Um, <coughs> cooking at hotels and restaurants where they would probably use a uh, machine or cooking here in the home where much more is done by hand. So uh, hats off to um, my wife's father for spending so long um, chopping all that together because that's pretty hard work. <coughs> Mm. Actually, this is kind of like a British sausage, <laughs> but the skin slightly different. British sausage, a uh, traditional one, use the pig intestine. Um, so this is this is kind of like uh, sausage for sure. This is the difficult part. Mm. Oh, there we go. Mm. Mm, bye. Oh, that's better. Better than the first one. Eh? <laughs> oh, this is not not cut out to do this. I've got a feeling mine will come open. Oh yeah. Is it okay? Mm. Mama hoo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so yeah, 
My mother-in-law has had years <laughs> of practice at this. This is the first time I've done it, and she makes it look easy, but that tucking the ends in is not easy. It's quite difficult. I'm sure when mine are cooked, they'll all come open. Ah, damn it. So another really important part of Chinese New Year is flowers and decorations. Now the decorations are very similar to what we have in the UK. They're obviously more Chinesey themed here. But one really important thing is something called couplets, is what you put some down the side of your door and across your door. And this is to bring good luck in the New Year. And also from the flowers, many people will buy a small orange tree or some people will buy a big one but you have orange trees in your house and this is to, to bring, again, good luck. So, we've bought our orange tree and this is ours. Oh, it's quite heavy. So, we're uh, gonna take this back, put it in our home. Hopefully it'll bring us some good luck in the year to come. Right, so a fairly important aspect of Chinese New Year is the giving of Hongbao. Uh, now, Hongbao means red envelope and this is kind of slightly similar to gift giving in Western countries in the UK. We give gifts. We don't generally give money. We do sometimes. But in China, it's very, very traditional to give these Hong Baos. And they come in many different designs you can see here. There's all sorts of different designs. And sometimes you get them sent to you from, from companies. Sometimes you buy them. And we have different values we put in these. So in Guangdong, we don't normally put huge amounts of money in these, but I know in, in some parts, in some provinces of China, they put quite large sums in these. So the small ones, we generally put 20 to 30 RMB in, and these we give to sort of people who, um, you know, help with everyday life, like the car park guy, the security guard. And then we have somewhere we put larger sums of money, and these are generally for family members, um, brothers, sisters, um, often parents we give quite a lot to um, at Chinese New Year in Hongbao. But it is very, very traditional, and it's, it's kind of, you find yourself, you always, at Chinese New Year, you carry some Hongbaos around with you in your pocket with a little bit of money. And sometimes you just might give them to, to children, you know, or friends' children and, and things like that. So this is it's very similar to, as I say, the gift giving in um, Western countries for Christmas. But in China, it's more about money. And actually, in recent times, it's interesting because um, you have Hongbao now in uh, WeChat. So you can send electronic red envelopes and many, many people do this throughout the um, days of Chinese New Year. You'll often get a little bing in your WeChat and it may be a Hong Bao. Okay, so it's about half past three and it's off to mother-in-law's house for our Chinese New Year dinner. And we then generally have it a bit earlier on New Year. Uh, they've also got all their decorations up as well, look, see? The Chinese New Year. One of the things we have in this year is goose, and goose is one of my favorites, and there's a, there it is, look, all, all ready and good. But this year, we're gonna do it slightly different to what we normally do. This year we're having hot pot huoguo, and uh, as you can see, over here on the table, we've got all the stuff ready for hot pots as chicken you got beef you got fish some chili here uh prawns 
Um, these are beef balls, Chaoshan beef balls. And uh, there's garlic. And I'm, I'm not sure what. Oh, these are crab sticks. This may be fish or chicken balls, maybe. <coughs> the time has come, and we're going to uh, we're going to start our hot pot now. So we're all going to sit down and uh, enjoy. So what we're doing here is we're making a dip for our hot pot stuff. So it consists of chilies and garlic and soy sauce and some um, other bits and pieces. So you'll notice that um, not all the family are here and that's because um, Vicky has some sisters but it's traditional for the women to go to their husband's family's home on Chinese New Year. Now, obviously we can't do that because my family's in the UK and we're here in China. So I come along with Vicky to her parents' home, but her sisters have gone to their husband's home. And two days after New Year, they will come here on the second day of Chinese New Year. It's traditional for the daughters to go back to their family home. And uh, now we're gonna all get stuck into our hot pot and we're going to have a lovely hot pot here on New Year. So what's that you've got there? I got a red And what's in it? Money. Money. Do you know how much? Oh, okay. <laughs> How much do you hope is in there? 100. You hope 100. Okay. Sing the Ah, Happy New Year, Sing the it's very traditional in Chinese New Year to have a lot of fireworks, but unfortunately in Shenzhen you're not allowed to have fireworks, they're banned. So we've got some small ones, um, some sparklers and some little fireworks. So we're just going to go up to the roof of the house and we'll have a bit of fun with those. Yay! 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 <laughs> 